Hello, this is Ruth Bomar, and I'm making a video today with some tips on what to do in between semesters. So let's get started. The fall semester is over, finals are over, spring semester is a month away with Christmas in the middle there. What do you do with all these, with all this time? Well, academically, this is what I recommend that you do. If you're taking a class in the spring that you know is going to be a very difficult class, maybe it's a, an A&P class, maybe it's a biology or a chemistry class or a calculus class, if you know you're going to take a very difficult class, I recommend that during these four weeks, maybe five weeks that you have before your next semester, that you shore up on your knowledge gaps. Just maybe hire a tutor or take some mini courses online, some free online courses. There's all kinds of information and mini courses out there that are free of charge that you can just watch and engage with. Um, so number one, just address the gaps in your knowledge. Maybe you're weak in um, uh, math, computation skills. Maybe you're, you're weak in just a certain category of information that you know you're going to need in next semester. So if you made a C in the previous semester and you're taking part two in the next semester, go ahead and review that information that you missed. Uh, chances are you're going to need that information at some point in your, in your uh, future semesters. So if you have knowledge gaps, address those knowledge gaps in between semesters. Another thing, another gap that I see students have in college is a vocabulary gap. So I have students who study their PowerPoint, study their notes, and then they take the test and they say, I don't recognize anything on the test. I don't recognize the question. I don't know what the professor is asking. Usually that is due to a lack of vocabulary. So you want to increase your vocabulary. You might have studied the ideas with one set of, of words and then the professor pulls a fast one on you and uses other vocabulary, other terminology. And that's perfectly acceptable because the professor is, is drawing upon a vast amount of knowledge and information. And you as a college student, you're being asked to up your game and sit at the table at the level of college thinking, college reading, college re writing, and college uh, vocabulary, college conversation. So your job is to increase your vocabulary. If you're having that experience when you take your test, I recommend that you just increase vocabulary. How do you increase vocabulary? Well, there's all kinds of little, um, little tools out there like SAT type tools to prepare for vocabulary when you take the SAT. But another wonderful way to increase vocabulary is simply read. Just read college level material. Just increase the amount of time that you read. So any, anything that you're doing to increase vocabulary or address knowledge gaps, you want to use a, a fitness approach like you do when you exercise to reach a fitness goal. You want to set aside maybe three times a week, maybe two times a week, maybe four times a week. However, frequency is up to you and the amount of time is up to you. So maybe four times a week, three times a week, two times a week, you set aside 45 minutes, half an hour, one hour, hour and a half, set aside a chunk of time to address that knowledge gap that you know you have. You have a sense of, man, you know, I'm, I'm playing with the big, big guys now. I'm playing in the major leagues now, and, and my, my, little, my skills were really great in the minor leagues, but in the major leagues, I need to up my game. So this is the time to address those knowledge gaps and those skill gaps. Now, another way... Another thing that students are doing in between semesters is actually taking a mini course. So shop around, maybe your school is offering a mini course, or maybe you can shop around to other universities that will be offering a little mini course in between the fall and the spring semester. So three things to do in between semesters as far as, as, far as academics are concerned, so that your academic performance in the spring is at its best, stellar performance. One is address knowledge gaps. Review information that you, that you studied last semester, maybe you earned a C and you're taking part two next semester. Review those knowledge gaps. Take some little free online courses or tutorials. 
um, address vocabulary, increase your vocabulary by reading, 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 and read college material. And uh, another thing to do this in between semesters is take a little mini course. This is Ruth Bomar, your online academic coach, and I can help you. These ideas that I'm giving you will help you be your best academically next semester.